We all know what a fan is, but do we know what a centrifugal fan is versus an axial fan? To illustrate, we have this device that looks like a propeller. That's called an axial fan, and that really has no place in, in ventilation systems, mainly because we need pressure to get airflow through the filter media. If you need a lot of effort to get that flow through, you need power, you need movement, and that is done with an, a centrifugal fan. This is a centrifugal fan. Now, it's easy to see how it works, but I see that a lot of people don't have that clear, and it's good to understand how it works because it can help you troubleshoot a lot of problems with this type of fan. Just recently, I visited a plant that did not have a working system. It simply failed to, to run well, and the reason was that the fan was turning backwards. If you look at this device, You've got airflow going in, goes into this wheel, and this wheel spins to get that airflow out in a powerful manner, okay? Just by looking at it, you can probably picture which way this fan wheel needs to turn, and that is this way, okay? Because you get air in, as it spins, it blows out with a lot of energy, okay? So what I'm trying to do here is to exercise the mind to picture what's going on so that you can immediately be able to spot the way that the fan should turn. Because again, it is not the first time that this has happened. There was a case a few years ago that the, co the customer paid a, a, an engineer to fly out and determine why this system didn't work. And it all came down to a fan that was rotating the wrong way. Now, it's easy to see that people thinking that if the fan is rotating the wrong way it would blow backwards but that is not the case with centrifugal fans if this wheel is rotating the wrong way it'll still blow air out but at a very very inefficient mode so with this mental exercise you can picture which way the wheel needs to turn and using a safe way like a pencil put it on the shaft see way, which way it's turning think about how it should be operating and troubleshoot a major problem that can cost a lot of money and can be very simple to fix by simply wiring the, the motor in a different way. My name is Luis Castaño. Thanks for listening and contact us for any questions regarding the subject.